previously on Bowie. Okay, so last time I didn't get into much, but I did experience the shortest yet awesome thing. I helped the ring bear get his mojo back, and by that I mean I convinced him that he's not a bear. My aims for today though is to make a bunch of money to expand my home. Aside from my dating adventure looking for the right one, making money is what I'll be doing for a while. I mean, we might date one or two guys in between, but making money is the main focus. Focus Bowie. Focus. But hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Playing Love Struck. We are accompanied by a certain someone. If you don't want me to spoil who this person is, leave this video right now and watch the previous episode because I am gonna mention who this sim is eventually. But yeah, so we will be continuing to make some money. Actually, not continuing because we never really started doing it, but we are gonna be doing it. Anyway, our girl got her a sneaky tattoo. She also has has a little tattoo on her ankle. We didn't do this in the previous part. I decided to add it for her and I also decided to give her hair a little bit of length and change her outfits just a smidgen. I'm still not entirely sure what we're gonna do with her apartment. Like I feel like we can just extend her house as a house or we can actually just change it into a three or four unit apartment but I'm thinking maybe we're just gonna extend her house. I mean there are other places in this world that we can build apartments on so so we're just gonna be focusing on her house today. All right, we can sell that probably to have money to buy that thingy-majiggy. I always forget what that thingy-majiggy is called. Okay, here it is. It is a street gallery, 400 simoleons. Okay, we can make that money quick enough, I feel. Also, our house is full of dust bunnies and they are honestly the most adorable sounding things, but they are also the most annoying things to have in your house eventually. Oh, this is a beautiful painting. We can sell that to the collector. Anyway, so we got this thing. Hallelujah. And we still have the magical ring that we fished out of the pond for the ring bear. Oh, wait, let's maybe sell this one painting and see how much we will get out of that. Now, we could sell this or we could use it to our advantage you know. But we shall activate the ring when we look for love. Okay, 330. Beautiful. We can paint at least two large paintings now. Let's do abstract, maybe large. You know what? I think I might actually end up selling this ring because it is a lot of money. And I mean, it's so easy to fall in love in the game anyway. So yeah, I feel like we could maybe sell that. I wonder what's happening on Cupid's Corner, if there's any new sims there. I mean, you, you can refresh it every 12 some hours and then there will be new sims there available to date and stuff. Let's go ahead and sell these two paintings. Whoa, 699 for one painting. That's incredible. Dang, it's already almost the next day, which means it really isn't the time anymore to go to a club. But I mean, after we have expanded our house a little bit, we can go and hit the clubs. I, I'm gonna sell it. All right, beautiful. We have a lot of money now. So this picnic rug at the back here, I'm gonna definitely keep. I don't know why, but I'm kind of in the mood to be building a little bit. That is why I really wanted to expand our house in this episode today. So our house in general is, well, very boring. I actually changed it to green. Don't think you guys noticed that, but it used to be blue. I also added this thing at the top. I will still use that, but I'm just gonna move it for now. I'm thinking of maybe expanding the house to the back and our little balcony can be expanded to expand and our bedroom. We are planning on having kids eventually too, you know, so it will be a good idea to, well, add a second room. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon, okay? We are still not there yet in terms of, well, planning for a child. I would also love to give this house a brand new paint job. Like, I'm not feeling this worn out look anymore. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I want something different. So we can go for the more cleaner look. She got a little bit of money and she added some painters to repaint her house for her. We're just gonna copy and paste this window. Put one over here, here, here. So I think up here I'm actually gonna add another bathroom because the more sims you have in your house eventually the more bathrooms they're gonna want. Yeah I mean they won't really want it, it's just you want it to make it a little bit more convenient for your sims. I think I might replace this fence here as well and obviously extend our fence to the back here as well because if we are gonna have 
have kids in the future or a child in the future will be a good idea to make space for a little spot for your kids to play at now there's one thing i want you guys to know about bowie bowie loves kids she loves the idea of having kids one day she loves the idea of having and raising a family and she i suppose is very good with children but we do not know that yet because i mean she has none but our sweet bowie over here she is unfortunately infertile which means she cannot get children of her own she cannot birth children and that is why in the future she's gonna have to adopt depending on how badly she actually wants a child but only after she has found the right one and it might be hard to find the right one because not all sims are loyal okay made us a little bit of money by taking the fence back here a bit i'm wondering if we can do like a garage or something i know we don't have cars in the game but just for aesthetic purposes we could maybe make a little garage because bowie decided to get this built in over here so instead of a car we can have some other things in here you know maybe some grown-up related things and by that i'm not really sure what i mean perhaps this garage can actually be a different color i kind of like the yellow it's pretty nice yeah it doesn't really match the green of the windows and stuff now but it still looks cute unless we change these thingies to the yellow theme yeah okay that could work okay we don't have much money left to do anything inside anymore really but i just want to make sure that things are still well basically functional enough to use okay this kitchen okay we can just move everything here for now this is actually a big space what are we gonna do with this oh my gosh a lovely massive living room over here can maybe be well basically the spot where she does all of her painting and stuff like that could be a good idea we could put down some newspapers you know to give it the effect of this being her work studio just to give the idea of it being an art studio is cool enough i think okay maybe not so many of those thingies see we could use this as a garage door but this seems more like something that's just closed up you know out of business but i'm actually looking for that mural that looks exactly like a garage door and maybe she can even paint something on it so it can look nice okay here they are so they are 750 each which means we're gonna have to save up money for them okay so our little art studio is starting to look like an art studio i feel we got a painting there we got these things here and well basically almost nothing here because i sold some money to buy this i mean i sold some items in order to buy that <laughs> maybe a sofa which we really can't afford really these are 150 each oh it's too expensive maybe we can get a lounger for now we might actually make the kitchen a separate room and have the dining and the living room on this side over here all right girly i think it's time for you to make yourself something to eat oh we have leftovers okay that's handy let's grab some leftovers where did she go to eat oh over there but you do have a dining table you silly nut um anyway go upstairs take a shower and go to sleep tomorrow we shall continue the painting extravaganza oh i mean like today actually technically it's already the next day i love it to make their hair a little bit longer after a while and then maybe cut it short again it also causes one to not really get bored of the character that's why i also like doing it how much is our balls 940 oh my gosh we gotta keep in mind that we'll have more balls now but that is all right all right we have carlos i shall add you we have harmony we have zayden jules this is not who i think it is yeah it is they live in evergreen harbor it's best sterling's husband beatrice lou <gasps> he's a he's a werewolf gonna say hi to him and then we have nina don't care i just wanted to see who's new let's go back to painting okay um i think i gotta get rid of one of the easels i was so confused just now thinking to myself why does she not want to paint anything and then i noticed that she doesn't have enough money to paint anything so yeah i'm the dummy here i'm so sorry <laughs> the time is in the pm which means we can go to the club soon i just really want to finish up at least three paintings before we do go oh what did i say figure painting oh that's all right now any painting that does not sell for malo anyway any painting that does not sell for much hold on hold on wait hold on a second i was feeling in the mood you were feeling in the mood okay so i was hoping if i stopped by you might be available for some canoodling well i wonder what that means akira <laughs> yeah sure you know i suppose we can canoodle you know it is anyway that time of night to <gasps> oh no oh no jokun is here too shall we invite him inside 
I suppose so. This is bad. Um, hey, you still look a little bit pissed off, but I suppose I understand why. 455? Not putting that against my wall. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Any paintings that does not sell for much, I'm gonna put against our walls. So, Joe Quinn, you know, I, I was kind of asked to go out with somebody tonight. Uh, if that is what they meant. If you don't mind, Joquin, uh, you and I can chill some other time, perhaps. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Also, do you like her new outfit? It's one of her new outgoing outfits. But yeah, we shall go canoodling. I didn't know they could do that. Just come into your house and ask you if you want to get into some shenanigans. Like, that's so cool. <gasps> Should we go to the gym? I've never been there. You know, maybe some other time. <laughs> that's where that sim lives. I was wondering where he lived. Like, I, I really want to get to know that guy as well. Ah, uh, the main star in the trailer. But let's go to the club, you know. Shall we bring Joe Quinn? Mm, I think it's a bad idea. But let's do it. The more drama, the more fun, am I right? Okay, so we're gonna try and interact with... Oh my god, look at him. Oh my god, he is so... You know, honestly, kind of full of himself. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna try and interact romantically with maybe both of them without the other one knowing. You know, we don't want them to be fighting and stuff over us. Kissing and being flirty with both of them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These two are going up there on their own. What are they gonna do? Are you gonna play a board game together? Oh, that's so sweet. I've never seen them play this before. Okay, sitting separate chairs. All right, I can see that Joquin is maybe not that badly interested in being romantic yet. I think he does like us, but maybe he just wants us to think that he doesn't want to jump the gun too quickly, all right? And here's Marcus Flex as well. Are we actually gonna play this? Play thumbs up with... Oh, we can play with both of them? I would love to do that. What are you doing? Oh, you're imitating Brain Freeze? I don't know. Hey, Joe Quinn, sit over here, buddy. Um, okay. I actually want to stop the game and maybe see if Marcus Flex wants to join as well. Oh, we can't. Okay, just join in the game. Okay, what are you showing? Being scared? Who's guessing? Akira? I think Akira's guessing. <laughs> I think he's trying to basically keep in his emotions when it comes to Bowie in front of Akira. I don't know. Thumbs up. Players learned the following about Jokun while playing the game. He's a music lover. Sweet. Oh, feeling sick. Think I might be pregnant, kind of sick, you know? Although I can't have children, which is still very sad, though. What are you showing? Also, the feeling of getting sick. All right. Like, how could you guys not know what that is about? It's, it's about being sick. This game is so cool, actually. I love it. All right, but let's leave the game for now and maybe go here together. Now, I think I'm gonna get Bowie to stand out here. Here's a ghost. Hello. This is a test. I'm gonna have Bowie come out here on her own. I want to see if one of the boys comes out to chat with her, to be with her while she's outside alone. And while she's standing outside here alone, I want to see also what they are doing. So Jokun just came down the staircase and Kira as well. What are you guys gonna do? You guys gonna dance, have drinks, not notice that Bowie is gone maybe? I can't seem to see them through the windows either. Like, um, where are they? Okay, there's Jokun. Where did Akira go? Imagine he's flirting with another woman, just spying through the windows. Okay, I don't see Akira anywhere. Not sure where he went. Bowie is getting so bored out here. She's already busy starting to stargaze. <gasps> hey, there's me. That is me. Oh my gosh, girl. Do something with your arms, please. Gosh, that's embarrassing. So I'm wondering if... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, both of them are coming over. Okay, so I was hoping that one of you would come out. I actually... Oh my gosh, this is kind of, you know, tension filled. Where are you going? You're going home? You tired? Okay, bro. In uh, what a joke one. Wait, joke one. Well, wait, wait. So Akira, I think, is going home. I suppose we can just hang out with you for a bit then. Let's stargaze with Jokun, maybe. We can spend some time with our good friend over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me too. He has actually told us that before, but I just feel like... I don't know. I don't want to say he could be our soulmate, but I can definitely say that he's a very good friend. He gets a little bit jealous now and then. Sometimes the Sims is just a little bit too realistic. 
and it kind of scares the shit out of me but you know it's, it's so sweet anyway joaquin do you maybe want to go dance we can definitely go dance you know oh no 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 no! i was looking for the dance together interaction you're tired no i just am i doing this right <laughs> Is that why you're leaving? I'm not doing things right? I feel like she also really wants to thank him for staying, even though he is quite tired. Okay, we're we're gonna... Okay. You know, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I feel like we could maybe invite Joquin to stay for the night. We can maybe offer them a rose. Maybe we can just get to know Joquin a little better, you know, as a friend. Maybe get into something more comfortable. I don't know, maybe our sleepwear. Uh... Don't know if it's appropriate but i mean it's a it is a very appropriate sleeper outfit so it's okay i suppose <gasps> Ooh, i know what you can do bowie you can maybe make you two something to eat <gasps> we can cook together oh my gosh what shall we cook together this is gonna be so great <gasps> maybe they got a hold of some suspicious substance and they got the munchies and they decided to bake a chocolate cake together oh my gosh Let's do this. Shall we bake together a chocolate cake? I think that's a good idea. Alrighty, do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. They're gonna cook or they're gonna bake a cake together. Oh my gosh. Okay, Jokun, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just stand there and look pretty? Or are you? Okay, there we go. Did you just add water to the batter, Jokun? Isn't that supposed to be milk? But okay. This is such an adorable activity to do together, I feel. Alright, it's in the oven. Oh, well, that's bacon. We can hear me out, okay? Okay. What if they felt a little bit, you know, under the influence of a certain substance and they decided to get a little bit freaky and by freaky, I mean just have their first kiss together. Wouldn't that be adorable? Did I, did I choose that right? No, I chose kiss hands. No, 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 no. I want, I want us to have our first kiss together. Yay. Let's do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh. Now we can finally be more than friends. Well, under the influence, they think that. But right now, we're having the munchies, okay? By tomorrow morning, they're not gonna know what struck them. Bowie's gonna wake up to a kitchen filled with sprinkles and chocolate cake and not knowing really what happened, I suppose. Because they were so high in the sky to remember really what happened. And of course, the kiss will be forgotten as well, okay? But I don't think Joquin is gonna forget it. But Bowie will definitely forget what happened. Okay, we're just gonna go with that storyline. Anyway, Jokey, I think it's time for you to go home. Goodbye. All right, so I think we should get our needs. Oh gosh, our needs are brilliant. Maybe we decided to, I don't know, do a flirty painting. Don't know why we want to. Maybe because of that kiss. And not even Bowie is sure why she did it. But yeah, she's gonna forget about that kiss. Oh my gosh. Maybe we can figure out from the painting if this could maybe tell out her future hmm so a girl with dark hair that's obviously not bowie bowie is a blonde girl but the dude in the dark clothing you know i kind of feel like that could be akira but who's this girl over here could she be so high in the sky that she forgot she was blonde or is that someone else with akira i don't know i do not know but this painting shall hold some significance to her somehow all right although we can sell it for a lot of money do we have any paintings to sell yeah we do we got two paintings to sell today anyway fast forward to the next morning wada wada she is awake <laughs> okay she didn't even go to to bed because she wasn't tired but yeah our girl is awake she didn't even notice the friendly lovey-dovey painting in her art studio she didn't notice the cake yet let's quickly just sell these two paintings whoa a thousand three hundred for that painting that's insane and a thousand and fifty for the other painting you guys are so generous to us today oh my gosh anyway but we goes into the living room unsure of what's happened last night okay Hmm, I don't remember painting this painting over here. Like, what's that about? All right, suspicious. Anyway, she goes into the kitchen and she finds the chocolate cake. There's a piece of half-eaten cake there and an empty plate. What happened last night, Bowie? Let's just pretend that Bowie is absolutely oblivious to what happened last night, okay? But Joquin did not forget. <laughs> I just love playing out storylines like that. I just feel like it brings so much more dynamic dynamic drama and realism to a game when you do things that way and akira is at our front 
door. Um, but yeah, we have our garage door. There we go. Before we continue buying some stuff, I suppose we can invite our friend in over here. Okay, hi Akira, how are you doing? You left pretty early last night. I wonder why. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. My house is dirty. I know. Ooh, you have a sore neck. What's that about? I wonder. Did you maybe hook up with someone else last night that we don't know about? Oh my gosh, he's singing to us. He's serenading us. Okay, honestly, that's kind of sweet. All right, Akira, be quiet and just come with me to a certain place, please. As far as Bowie is concerned, Akira is her only true love interest at this moment. Yeah, I know the place is dirty, okay? I know it's not, I know it's dirty. You guys can go ahead and enjoy yourself, okay? Bye. Oh, okay, there they go. <laughs> Listen to the music upstairs. Oh no. And we have 24 hours to build. You know what? I think we can actually afford that. Pay our bills. Are you two not done? Okay. All right. Seems like you're finished. I'm so happy to see that. Okay. You know what, Akira? I think you can go home now because we're, we're, we're still, you know, working and stuff. Gotta pay our bills. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, sure. Bye, cutie. All right, I think we can paint some more. Let's do two paintings after one another. Sell those. And see how far we can get with that money with this part of the house. Oh, <gasps> Jokwin. Oh my gosh, you boys are keeping me from my work. But okay, come inside. Hello, Jokwin. Can I just quickly please resume this painting? Painting. Oh wait, this is a scenario of Joquin entering the house of a girl that he kissed last night for the first time. But the girl he kissed remembers nothing. So did you, you know, enjoy last night? Is there anything you wanted to talk about? And she's just like, um, what do you mean? Like, how could you have forgotten anyway? And Joquin decides to not bring it up. Okay, Joquin decides to not mention the kiss. He doesn't mention the baking of the cake together. And he's serenading to us. Nice. Because he's gonna feel maybe, I don't know, embarrassed for knowing what happened. And telling her what happened. Because she forgot what happened. You understand? I feel like that is a little bit embarrassing. But but we go to the toilet before you piss yourself in front of your friend. Alright, it seems like Joquin might have noticed the funny painting around the corner here. Like... I don't know what he's thinking about that. He might think, oh, that's a very cute little couple of a boy and a girl, you know, of the ages, you know, probably 12 years old or something. Joquin thinks nothing about the painting. Okay, I'm really getting sick of Bowie freaking out about the freaking dust all the time. I'm just gonna buy her a vacuum, a vacuum cleaner and ask her to vacuum around. Okay, what's Joquin doing? Oh, push-ups, okay. While we are doing some vacuuming quickly. Okay, bye, Joe Quinn. Please do not come back because I really want to get into my work now. Akira! You're glad that we got to know each other, Joe Quinn and I. Okay. You're getting more popular, clearly. You're a good person to know. Well, thank you. But I am not into the idea of being famous, though. Best Sterling. No. Sorry, cannot afford anything right now, okay? Actually, I can. I have quite a bit of money, but, you know, still, girl. Still. Okay, we have one painting to sell tonight, you guys. One painting. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. I didn't even need to say much. Cool. And with that money, as I mentioned before either Joquin or Akira came over, I would like to do something to this part over here. Let's take away this lounger now. Keep our laptop. I really want to keep our laptop. Take away these chairs for extra money. Take away that rug. Okay, what's new, pussycat? I haven't really seen all of the items here yet. I have seen them, but not with my own eyes. I'm gonna go with a simple sofa like this for now. Will we have enough money to close up our kitchen and be able to buy extra appliances i hope so all right so this is our money finished already which sucks because i didn't even get a chance to buy a sink so maybe let's take away the sofa for now and get a sink into this kitchen because we will need that yeah the rest of the house is gonna be pretty empty for a while but at least we still have our laptop here i'm actually gonna get a bar stool here so that she can sit in the kitchen where it feels fuller to do random things on her laptop maybe the bin will still be functional here i really hope so so by the looks of it we can buy one decent sofa and then our money will be finished how about this one and a potted plant in the corner but alrighty, you guys, I think that's where I'm gonna leave today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and, uh, yeah, okay, Bowie. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one. 